Hey everyone, it's Alessandro Brooks from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some black brioche buns, which is a fun take on your traditional hamburger buns, but we're going to be using some squid ink to get a really black bun. These are not only fun for hamburgers, fish sandwiches, you can make them small for order appetizers. I'm going to be using mine today with some spicy salmon tartare, avocado and edamame sandwich. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. Start with one cup of lukewarm milk. To that, add one packet of active dry yeast, a quarter ounce, seven grams. Mix it well and set it aside to activate. Next, add three cups of bread flour to the bowl of a mixer. Two tablespoons of sugar and half teaspoon of salt. Start beating it in low speed using a flat beater. Then, slowly add 8 tablespoons, one stick, of softened butter. Let it beat to form a crumble. Next, we'll beat 3 whole eggs with the squid ink. We'll use 16 grams, 0.56 ounces of squid ink, which is 4 little packets of the squid ink I can find at my local grocery store. Beat it well with the eggs to incorporate and then add it to the flour. At this time we'll also add the yeast and milk mixture. That should be nice and foamy and well activated. Beat until the dough starts to come together. Then replace the flat beater with a dough hook. Beat on medium, medium high speed for about 10 minutes. Next, flour a working surface and transfer the dough. Shape it into a ball by pulling the sides towards the center and spinning it with your hands. Coat a large bowl and the dough with some oil. Cover it with plastic film and let it rise until doubled in size, about 2 hours. I like to place it inside my oven with the light on. The light generates just enough heat to keep the oven lightly warm. Once doubled in size, press the dough with your fingers to deflate a little, then transfer it to a working surface. Shape the dough into a log and divide in 10 equal pieces. This will give you 10 regular size burger buns. You can also go bigger or smaller depending on the size you wish to make. Shape each portion into a ball. You can do this by pulling the sides and tucking them in the center, and then spinning the ball with both hands while pressing it on the bottom. You can also spin it with your hands while tucking the sides under it, just like so. Wow. 
Place the buns on baking sheets lined with parchment paper, leaving enough room between to allow them to double in size. Lightly cover them with plastic film and let the buns rise for one hour. Gently brush the buns with an egg wash. I beat one whole egg in about two tablespoons of water. Make sure the egg wash is not too thick. You want it to be thin to avoid egg from showing once the buns bake. You can also use melted butter instead. I'm also topping the buns with some black sesame seeds. Bake the buns in a preheated oven at 375 Fahrenheit. 190 Celsius for 15 to 18 minutes. Adjust the time depending on the size of buns that you're making. Remove the buns from the oven and transfer to a wire rack to cool down. If you're not using the sesame seeds, you can also brush the buns with some melted butter once they come out from the oven. And the black brioche buns are ready. If you have enjoyed the video, this is a good time to press the like button below. I'm serving my buns today with some avocado and edamame and some spicy salmon tartare. I hope you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and press the like button below. Thank you for watching.